Here we have a 2016 Chevy Malibu LT, one owner, clean Carfax, 47,000 miles. Uh, kind of in a beige color, champagne, I guess you would say. Uh, as you can see, a uh, complete redesign on the Malibu a few years back. Really has a sleek look. Uh, we have some uh, high-intensity headlamps there. Uh, no no uh, fog lights in the lower fascia, but we do have high-intensity headlamps and driving lights there up front. See some uh, uh, chrome trim around the upper and the lower uh, bumper fascia there. Uh, kind of gives it a nice look as we continue around to the side. You have a multi-spoke brushed aluminum alloy wheel uh, on Firestone tires. These tires are very, very thick, uh, probably about eight, nine, 30 seconds, three quarters tread or more at least. You can see a nice shiny resurfaced rotor and thick brake pad in there. It's one thing we really pride ourselves here at Thomas. We do a used car mechanical check on all our vehicles. You can find the results of that mechanical inspection signed off by the technician that performed it in the glove box of all of our vehicles. So we look in through the passenger seat uh, area on the front, you can see manual adjustment on that passenger seat. You can see cloth uh, bucket seats with a full console that runs in between gray in color. We got gray carpeting. We also have some brushed uh, aluminum accents around the louvers uh, uh, console and dash area. They continue on through the door panel, uh, but it's a good looking vehicle both inside and out. Uh, we'll continue around to the back. Now we have that front seat all the way back to show you that even though it's a mid-size sedan, it still gives uh, ample leg, hip, and shoulder room for your rear occupants. You can see much more space there with the driver's seat in a normal position, but we're trying to give you some contrast there. And you can see very clean interior, no rips, tears, stains, or odors there. Uh, it's been well maintained in and out. Um, you got the same eight, nine, 30 seconds on these tires matching Firestones. Like I say, the tires are very good. Wheels look good as well, not all scuffed and scraped up. Uh, we'll continue around to the back. You can see it is a Malibu. You can see the LT badging there. Also, you can see it has a backup camera right there. Now I'm gonna hit the, uh, just wanna show you the remote. Uh, it does come with remote start, as you can see, your integrated key fob, and of course we got power trunk release. I'm gonna pop that, kind of show you how spacious this trunk is. Plenty of room there. You also have 60-40 on fold down of the rear seat if you need a little more. So uh, you should be able to get everything you need in, in that trunk area there. Uh, let's see if we could show you. There's your spare tire, jack tools, things of that nature, all located conveniently in the trunk. Continuing around here to the side. Again, you can see matching Firestones, very deep, uh, nice uh, scuff-free wheel there as well. And we'll just give you an angle here from the driver's side. You can see, uh, like I was saying, you have a good, good uh, room there in the back. And then we'll go ahead and show you the front. One of the biggest differences is the front, as you can see, is you have a full power seat, including power lumbar there on your driver's seat. And we'll continue the tour here on the door panel where you'll find your uh, power windows, mirrors, power door locks right there. Let's go ahead and get in the car. Now it's a push button start proximity key. Just gonna put our foot in the brake, press the start button. You can see there that 47,215 miles. Uh, continuing with the tour, here's your dimmer switch, interior. It's your automatic headlamp switch right there. Got stem to the left, high beams and turn signals. Stem to the right, intermittent wiper washers. Got your cruise control to the left of the steering wheel. Got your Bluetooth hands-free uh, communication to the, to the right, as well as your control pad. Control different uh, options. You can see their tripometers, uh, fuel economy, estimated uh, distance to empty. Uh, you can see your oil life indicators. You can see your tire pressure monitoring systems. Um, there you can see uh, your, your instant fuel economy and a digital speedometer. So you've got a couple different features there. Now this has the upgraded touchscreen radio. As you can see, AM, FM, satellite radio is controlled through that button. Of course, you have the ability to pair your phone. Uh, the vehicle is not equipped with factory nav. They do give you a compass, however. And then you have your uh, text messages that will be displayed through that, uh, that area there. Your climate control is down below that. Um, you have uh, your, your uh, automatic floor shifter here, but you do have the ability to manually adjust the gears with the top portion. And there's your uh, traction control. There's two large cup holders. And if we flip up this center console, you can see your connectivities in there. You have a nice deep well to keep your belongings. Now, of course, all GM vehicles are equipped with OnStar. That's right up there. We also have an auto dimming rear view mirror and illuminated visors, as you can see there. Uh, no roof on this model, but uh, let's go ahead and pop the hood and see what's underneath. 
believe it may be an inline four cylinder. Let's just uh, take a look at it here. All you motorheads that want to take a peek under the hood, I don't want to deprive you of that uh, privilege. As you can see there, actually, it's not all covered with shrouding. You can actually see the engine. Some of them are getting so covered, but you can hear it's quiet. No exhaust leaks, no fluid leaks. Very clean. No corrosion on any of the electrical terminals. Very well maintained unit for 47,000 miles, as you can tell. Now, let's go ahead and shut this car off. We'll get into the next portion of our video, which I really think differentiates us as a company and a brand. Now, not only are we... Um, you know, up front in the condition of our vehicles with the pricing and mechanical condition, but also the cosmetic condition. It's my job right now is to kind of be your eyes and ears, go around this vehicle, point out any minor imperfection that it may have, like a tiny little stone chip right there. A um, couple little more down there. You know, we have a lot of folks, little scuff right there, that drive a long way to do business with us. The internet has provided people the opportunity to get exactly what they want if they're willing to travel a little bit. And I really think this little detail walk around helps uh, bear our soul, you would say, uh, to people uh, and really show any minor imperfections. We try to buy these cars absolutely as clean as possible. Um, you know, like I say, one owner, clean Carfax. There's some scuffage on the corner. That's probably the worst of the damage I've seen. But all the body lines are nice, straight, and clean. Um, no signs of any prior paint. Uh, really try to uh, buy like new alternative units here uh, to give you an option. New car prices are getting higher and higher and you know you could save a lot of money buying a like new used vehicle. It's been well maintained by the previous owner and this one seems to be just that. Uh, you know that's actually a little bit of dirt there coming right off. Uh, we do have a couple little scrapes above that door handle. A little chip right there on that body line. A couple little minor scratches. Can't quite get that to show for you guys. They're very, very minor there. There you go, you can kind of see it. Um, haven't really noticed any dents though. Um, just these few little tiny scratches that I've tried to point out to the best of my ability here. There's a cluster on that fender, as you can see. Probably that uh, back left rear fascia that I showed and those scratches on the fender are probably the worst of the damage I've noticed. Now we got a couple of little stone chips across the front. It's really unavoidable uh, with the aerodynamics of these new vehicles. Um, it's really tough to get away from that. We got a couple across here on the front face of the hood as well and on the upper portion of this fascia. Um, little cluster of scratches on the top side of that hood. But that's it, guys. I mean, still covered under the remainder of Chevy's powertrain warranty. Comprehensive expired due to miles, but uh, powertrain is transferable to the next owner, so you can buy this car with confidence. If you're interested, there's a few ways of getting a hold of us. You can look us up on the web, www.thomasata.com. Give us a call at area code 717-485-4224. Again, my name is Kevin Richards. I appreciate your time watching this video. I hope you found it beneficial, and I wish you an excellent day.